Can I now request Principal Ma'am Janice Rohan Chandran to come and address the gathering. A very good evening to all gathered over here. It is a very, very special moment for us. We started the journey as a preschool four years back and a lot has happened since then. God has been gracious to take such a beautiful vision and dream and using me as a channel to take his most, 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 most precious creation and take care of them, nurture them and make sure that they are being amazing human beings in this planet. Through the COVID times, just like all of you, we also had a very, very challenging phase as a preschool. But my mentors, my family, always kept reminding me that what I have in my hands is bigger than all of these problems put together. And through all of the trials, all of the challenging situations, there is still going to be hope at the end of the tunnel. So I want to take this moment to thank my mentors, my family, Lord Almighty, and above all, my parents. Whenever I would be disheartened, I had to just log into the PTM meeting of that quarter to see the overjoyed faces of how the school and everybody in it still made such a difference to their little one's life. And it would not be wrong for us to claim that if not the first home, this is definitely the second home for all our children. Quite often, when we think about a building, we put a lot of emphasis on the foundation. That the foundation must be very strong. The foundation must have the best of qualities. Because no matter what may come on top of it, if the foundation is weak, then the building will not stand strong. And I think that is our vision and mission as Sangosho, to make sure that our children's foundation is rock solid. Because COVID taught us one thing, that we cannot be prepared for everything. And only who are adaptable, flexible, resilient, and have the courage to stand in such situations with everyone around them are the ones who are the real, real warriors. So we don't know what are the job opportunities that may be there for our little ones 20 years down the line, 25 years down the line. But we know one thing for sure, that we are leaving no stone unturned, that they have the right values, they have all the necessary toolkits with them, no matter what they choose in future, I am confident because Sangosho has been part of their life. Their life would be very, very special and different. And through all of these moments, there have been such wonderful parents who have always applauded us, always supported us, always cheered for us. And there have been different category of parents as well. But I think what they do and they help us is to push that threshold that we have for ourselves. So I do remember one of our little ones who would be going out beautifully out of Sangosho, one of our little ones. I remember her mom when she came on the first day, she was so much anxious. She was so worried about her little one, just like any other mother in this room would be. 
And I remember she said, I've kept a bottle of milk inside her bag. Please make sure that she has it. To when I see what she has turned out while she is leaving Sangosho, my heart swells with pride. She's such a creative child. She is exploring herself in so many different ways and is so confident. And I think though we may not have everything written and drafted, we know where we started with each of our little ones and where they are at this current point in time. Whether our parents applaud us, not applaud us, we know that we have made a meaningful impact in the child's life and that is what gives us a very, very comfortable sleep. So I want to just let you know that we are very, very happy that you have chosen this as your foundation for your little ones. Because quite often, we think that we will choose the best school when it comes in grade one. We will tell the children all about learning when they reach grade eight. But sadly, that's not how it all works. You need to put the right seeds at the right time, in the right soil, with the right manure, then only the plant will bloom. So, I'm sure that all of you are having an amazing evening. The, all this effort that you're seeing on stage has been, a little ones have been practicing for two months. I know when you're looking at it like, uh, Nisha Mehek rightly said, it may not be as per your expectations, but it is still a lot of effort. It is still a lot of hard work that the children have put into all of this. So when we thought that what do we want to name our school when we were starting off, we had so many options and somehow Coral Reef just felt as the right name. And why coral reef? Of course, um, we have a sweet connection with water. But other than that, if you look at the coral reef, it's such an amazing ecosystem filled with colorful, different fishes, such a diverse ecosystem, and they are all thriving so happily and so harmoniously, just being what they are. And how while being just who they are, they are also supporting each other. And not only being a blessing to the ecosystem that they are in, but also to the community in general, if you would see what Coral Reef does, is really, really amazing. So when I think of all the people in Coral Reef, one are my children, who are so beautiful, so diverse. They are so unique and so special. Like I can look at each of them and at least list down 10 amazing things about them. They may not be same like the other child, but they have something so, so, so amazing about them. Next is our parents. 100% sure that the parents who join hands completely with the school and are appreciative towards the efforts of the school, have children who have that same kind of culture, same kind of value system that is there in their lives. And we have such amazing parents. Just after this, our moms are going to do a rocking performance. So each of the parents seated over here also is the other element of our Sangosho. And this Sangosho would be so fika without all the creative teachers and all the creative team members. And I think that beautifully all of these small pieces are joining together to create such a beautiful world for tomorrow. And I won't be surprised that when my children, maybe at the age of 25 or 30, even probably in a passing thought, when they have achieved such amazing things in their life, would somewhere look back and definitely say, I am what I am because Sangosho and the people who are there made a difference to me. 
from all the other beautiful things that they would experience and learn in life, I am very sure that we have also played a tiny bit at least to contribute into molding a beautiful, beautiful human being for tomorrow. So I thank all of you for taking out your time and coming for this evening and hope you're having a wonderful time and all the other performances that are going to come, you're going to cheer, you're going to applaud, you're going to enjoy all of them. Because when you feel enjoyed and happy, you would rather be surprised how your children start feeling all the same things. We want so many things out for our children. But it, it would only happen if we are ready to model that in our lives first. So you can tell them a lot of things, a lot of gyan, and they will only do as much as they see. They are very, very smart. I would take this moment to thank our chief guest, Shobha Ma'am. Thank you so much for coming and gracing this occasion. Varun, thank you so much for coming. And all family and friends who have come here and made this evening even more special and memorable. Thank you so much for coming here and cheering us and cheering our children. Let we all together promise that we will join hands together to make sure that our children have an amazing example to see right in front of them of how life looks like. Thank you once again, everybody. In this note, I request our beautiful moms who are participating for the dance performance to kindly go backstage and get ready for their performance while we continue to take the program forward. Thank you.